CataractCoach.com. This is the best of Cataract Coach with our expert panelists, Dr. Rosa Bragamili and Dr. Deepinder Dhaliwal. All right. All right. That's not lens cortex. Now I'm going to show you a couple of cases of me doing it, and then I'm going to show you one that's not me, but let me show you. That's the commercial, first of all. Make sure you're on the correct Insta. Those are all the counts, and that link tree there will give you all the access to everything. And this is all free. You Everything's free. free. It's free. That's amazing. So here's me, uh, here's me doing a case. I'm aspirating out the cortex. Looks like a pretty routine case. That one area has cortex that's kind of like very whitish, but it's okay. We'll clean up all the cortex. And then I'm kind of noticing, uh, again, me operating. We'll clean up that right there. Again, all looks pretty good. I'm taking my time here, not rushing. And then I'm like, all right, take that out. I want the bag nice and clean. I don't want too much inflammation post-op. I mean, patients are, want, want a beautiful outcome. I want to give you a beautiful surgery. So I go over here, clean up some of this. What, do you th- what, what about oh, that? You're taking That's the, the bag. bag. I just thought, you know, let me just make sure. Like, that's Ooh. a pretty bright red reflex there. Ouch. So first thing I do is denial. It never happened. Look, <laughs> didn't happen. Put it back. Look, didn't happen. Didn't happen to me. I'm good. <laughs> now, what should I do now? Probably not come out of the eye. Yeah. Put a viscoelastic at first. Yes. Okay, I won't listen to you. <laughs> How bad is the eye gonna break it? It's bad. You need a CTR now. It's bad. And why'd you pull out of the AC? It's okay. Deny it happened. It's fine. But you need a CTR. It's fine. Just finish the case normally. What do you want? You know, to be safe, you can put a CTR in. It's, it's a pretty small It's area. a little bit. You could just put the haptics in that area. I would say I think it's, it's fine. Be, it's it would have been fine. finer if you didn't come out of the eye like that. <laughs> but it's fine. It's a small little area. It's small. You said that denial instinct is so strong. I'm telling you, you sometimes you can't help yourself. Like, I was like, to my mind, I said, just don't come out of the eye, put a viscoelastic, and then I just, I, I don't and know, then, it just happened. So, so it also depends what type of lens you're going to put in. Single piece in the bag. Up, oh, so it's a monofocal lens. Just say single, let's say single piece monofocal in the bag. Just, am I okay? Can I just finish the case normally? Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty small area. Yeah, I think so, too. Yeah. Does, now, that, that, that area that had weakness, does that mean that all Zion supports weak? Or that no. was totally hydrogenic? You that grabbed was... the bag and pulled okay, it out. Okay, okay, and okay. All okay. the Zion was whoa, whoa, whoa. It's right. not that deep. Okay, well, I'm going to pause the capsule. See, look, you just, just tell the patient they had a traumatic cataract. <laughs> That's the patient's fault. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, traumatic, traumatic cataract, cataract traumatic surgery. cataract surgery? Yeah. Well, you know, don't expand. It's, it's a patient's fault. fault. Yeah. So we'll get the lens in here. No, you know, it's a shared responsibility, surgeon and patient. That's how it works. But I would put the haptics in that area of zonular compromise. I think that's a great idea. So we're going to do that. There you go. So that, that haptic acts kind of like a bolster to yeah. that one area, yeah. at least in my mind. Because the three-piece lens, I don't know how strong, I mean, the single-piece are not pushing out that much. Like a three-piece would push out more in that area. So I actually... Uh, and I'm wait, just double-checking. Can you just stop? What? Just, I'm just making, I gotta make sure oh. it really wasn't, I want to make sure it really wasn't cortex. <laughs> what? It's okay, I'm just making sure it's not cortex. And it came out again. I told you you were going to scold me today. Well, it's good to be consistent. <laughs> <laughs> Can it, should I just quit playing and get out of the eye? Yes. Okay. So a little bit of triamcinolone maybe? No. Just, just, just make sure? No. What am I going to see with triamcinolone? Nothing. Oh, God, please. Let it be nothing. And, whew, sometimes better to be lucky than good. But yeah. that was great that you put that in just to make sure. Just to be sure. Yep. All right. I would have also, have if you don't have triamcinolone or it's not readily available, if you put some myocol in and if you have any peaking of the people. Smart. You know, Smart. Right? So you could do one of these. So this, this is an anonymous surgeon operating here. And now let's see. Notice that something's kind of weak there. So put in visceral acid. Following your advice. Looks like there's some zonulopathy. Let's take a look. The rexus has kind of descended a little bit. Look at the right side of your screen. I think there's some zonulopathy. There's a little bit of lens yeah. equator visible. Yeah. So how are we going to get the cortex out here? Or can you just leave it? Eh, yeah, yag it later. You told me yag it later. You can visco dissect it off, put your IOL in, and then grab it after yeah. you have an IOL scaffolding it. Or if it's big enough, visco dissect it off, put a CTR. Oh, oh. What are you, what are you seeing? What's ooh? He grabbed the capsule there. The poster capsule. Yeah. Oh, this is, this is going to get really good. Don't you worry. <laughs> now what do you oh, see? The whole bag is, he needs a CTR. How about that? Oh, mm. okay. Kind of what you did. No, don't say that. I'm not. Oh, that's mean. I'm not like that. 
Okay. Well, I go back and I'm oh, yeah, sure he does he, it again. You really get them all off. <laughs> Just keep peeling it. Oh, you can hear them. It's like zip, 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 zip. Oh, what? Okay, so don't do this. <laughs> so what would you do right now? Stop. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So put viscoelastic, put in capsule hooks, put a CTR. What do you want to do now? What would you do oh, here? Oh, it's just getting worse. I would, I would have stopped a long time ago. We got to admire the persistence, no? <laughs> no, no persistence. Put in a uh, CTR. You might need hooks. You might need to suture. Now, this is, this is suddenly very complicated, right? Yeah. yeah like this is a lot them. longer case now. Of course. Oof. Uh, oh. Safe to say you're not putting the trifocal in? Why doesn't he stop? Wow. This is a case of denial. <laughs> but you know what? This is a natural instinct for all certain. I mean, this is a little extreme. That's why we make fun of each other. We learn. We're trying to learn here. So, uh, oh. got, the, got the cortex. Wow. I mean, he wants the cortex out. He or she, whoever this is, wants the cortex oh out. Oh, my God. A guy will get the cortex, no matter what. <laughs> and look at the position of the rex. Is how the rex is shifted way, way over. Now here's the viscoelastic. See, so, hey, all right, all right. Okay. See, there you go. That's not so bad. Okay, how bad is the line of damage? <laughs> just play the CTR. May as well yank the whole capsule now. You'll need a spell suture fixation. I just witnessed the crime. <laughs> We're time for that yamane. We want the yamane. No? It's time for a Yamane. So what do you want? So, okay, everyone <laughs> witnessed the crime, okay. <laughs> That's the Okay, you're like, but now, okay, what do you want to do there? Okay, you, okay, I'll give you A. You witnessed the crime, but now what do you want to do besides A? Stabilize the bat. Yeah. Okay, how? So, Which one? You, CTR? You're and gonna it'll need be fine? a CTR and a segment, and then suture, you could suture that. What about you? Maybe we'll yank out the whole bag you now. Can, I mean, you know, depending on what's in your bag of tricks, right? What, how are you gonna get that to be an, a good end result? If you're good at Yamane and you have that skill set, then do that. Or you can do a CTR and a capsule seg uh, tension segment with a Gore Tex suture right in that area. You, you can, can also. Close it and send it to somebody else. Oh, now tell me about that. That's a reasonable idea. Here, the surgeon's going to try cat up more, though. Oof. This surgeon's not giving up. Make an extra oh. incision here. Oh, wow. Big and incision. you said you like a Simcoe. All right, here's a Simcoe. You said Simcoe, right? I didn't say I liked it, but... It, well, I think that's what we're going to do here. And look at the Rex is now like with that characteristic D shape, that oval shaped. They still haven't stabilized the bag. No? Not yet. So let's see what's going to happen now. They didn't get the they didn't get the memo. The viscoelastic is cheaper than vitreous. Remember that? Viscoelastic is cheaper than vitreous. Okay, Simcoe, here you go. Simcoe, wow. Simcoe, get that cleaned up. Oh. <sighs> but just, just the doctor wants that last bit of cortex out, then they can stop. They so got it. Look, now the doctor's happy. No. No? A little more? They're gonna punch. get every little speck. Every little lens of the old cell out first. But the question here is, yeah, what do you do here? What if it's outside your comfort zone to do all those crazy maneuvers? It's okay. Is it okay to close up right now and send it to a colleague? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Do the right thing. The well, patient. you've got to check for vitreous. So you've got to clean it up, right? So I would... Triamcinolum? Yeah. Because, yeah, at this point, that's a lot of manipulation. I don't know if there's a, I mean, there's got to be some vitreous. There's viscoelastic. Oh, fuck. I just like, this, see, watching the case is stressful. It, it is. Stressful. This the, was. The poor surgeon lo lost a month of life on this case. <laughs> so now, okay, I think at this point, CT, okay, CTR, sutured segment and ring, eye on the bag. CTR, single piece in the bag. CTAR three piece, haptic sulcus optic capture, scroll fixated eye well, leave a fake for now, come back later. There's nothing wrong. There's no, I like what you said there. There's nothing wrong with E. There's nothing wrong with leave a fake yep. come back later. And if you want to, have a colleague come back for you. That's okay. Yeah, Yemene looks like a very easy procedure to do, and it's not easy. In good hands, it's Easy. So we have a colleague who does a ton of them, and so if this were to happen, I would close it up 
And, and if I couldn't get a stable outcome myself, then I would close it up and send it to him, just because he does them way better than I do them, or a, a, a sutured I will. I'm inclined for C, but I actually like E also. I like sutured in, do it now if you want to, but yeah. it's going to take a lot longer than you think. So here's the surgeon, same case, they just change the lighting. <laughs> It just depends on how old the patient is, too. You may not have vitreous if it's an older patient and how much they can tolerate. So luckily, there's, by some miracle, there is no vitreous prolapse. So this surgeon decides to close it up and live another day. Come back, have a colleague come and help you do the case. There's post-op day one, aphagic. Now, how much time do I have before that bag crumples up? I don't know. Probably not. I shouldn't wait a month. No. no. So probably the next week, the patient should go back to the OR. Yeah. And get this done. So yeah, that's what, that's what the surgeon did here. Go back to the OR within a, within a week with a colleague who's very adept at these tough cases. Do it together. You'll both learn and be better for the patient. And I think there were some very, very valuable lessons yeah. we and learned And if the patient's today. a high mile, you might be okay. We well. can <laughs> <laughs> only hope. Yeah, but I mean, that's a reasonable option. I think just, we don't sometimes emphasize that enough, that it's okay to come back another day, okay to share the love and liability with another surgeon. Yeah. Really okay. And then luckily, again, some miracle, there is no vitreous prolapse here in this case. But it might just be if it's an older patient or a post vitrectomized eye. Yeah, it could be. That might have been even well, why you can, there Then was you can blame the retina, retina doctor. <laughs> That's the one thing you have to remember. If, if, you know, we all look for the posterior capsule issue with a post vitrectomized eye or um, injections for macular um, issues, also think of zonular issues in those yep. cases yep. as well. Well, I want to thank Rosa and GP, the best panelists ever. I appreciate it. And, and we want to thank Ode Devas, the best, for the all best teacher for all of us.